You know what? Samuel spoke things, prayed things, and none of his words fell to the ground empty. I always pray that for our church. Lord, when we minister on the, on the streets, Lord, please don't let our words uh, fall to the ground helpless. Father, but you see, if we're in the spirit and we're spirit-led, we're going to speak the things God leads us to say. Amen. God's honored and obligated to back up his word, not what Brother Greg generates on his own out of his flesh. I want to be in the spirit. We should all covet that. That should be our prayer. A prayer. Lord, I want, to, I want to be in oneness. Like Jesus, in his discourse, you know, he says, I only do. I only do what the Father shows me and tells me. He walked in the spirit with the Father. And he loved the Father so much. That was a servant's heart. You know, God wants us as children and servants of the Most High. Remember when the, when the disciples were arguing who was going to be the greatest? And the mama said, oh, put one on your right, put one on your left. He told her, he says, you know what you ask? Do you know, can they endure the suffering that may come? But here's the key. You want to be great? Be a servant. Amen. That's what the Lord tells you. You want to be great in the kingdom? Be a servant. Oh, are you kidding? That's too beneath me. And that's why you're not going to be promoted because of that stinky attitude. <laughs> be a servant. Oh, hallelujah, Lord.